Edward Kataitake. Kataika, okay. As an intergovernmental organization, its government, uh, governance structure draws heavily from the governments of the member states. We have as our highest governing and policy body the ministers of health from the member states and we call this the conference of health ministers. The ministers are advised on technical matters by a committee of senior technical experts drawn again from the member states and these are from the ministers of health but also from health training or research institutions of the member states and we call this the director's joint consultative committee so these provide technical advice to the ministers as they make policy for the region we also have in the governing structure an advisory committee which is mainly a, a management board and it deals with the administrative matters. They advise the ministers on administrative matters of the organization. And this is comprised of permanent or principal secretaries, again from the member states. And then we have uh, the secretariat. So that's how EXA is structured in terms of its governance structure. Now, in terms of the policy process, EXA, one of the services that EXA provides to the region is a regional platform which brings together the governing bodies that I've talked about but also other stakeholders, health stakeholders from the region and beyond. So the Conference of Health Ministers, for example, they hold their meetings annually. So every year the ministers convene to discuss policy matters health matters relating to, to, to the region. These are usually held under a particular theme in that particular year. And the theme is addressed through sub-themes, three to five sub-themes, which address topical health issues as deemed necessary by the ministers. So every year, there is a topic that the ministers focus on to discuss. It could be on universal health coverage. How do we achieve universal health coverage? And under that, they will have sub-themes on how they address that sub-theme. They could be talking about issues of health financing or health economics. They could be talking about human resources. Plus, the many other issues that affect this region it could be issues of uh, the, the, the disease outbreaks that we have, issues of nutrition, and so on. So, the ministers will meet annually to discuss, to deliberate on a particular theme. The Conference of Ministers is usually preceded by meetings of technical experts, again, drawn from the region, who address the theme for that particular year, because the theme is determined at the beginning of the year, or the, the, the theme is determined beforehand. So, we start with a technical meetings of technical experts to address the theme and sub-themes of that particular year's Conference of Health Ministers. So as part of the regional platform, we have what we call a best practices forum, where the nine member states, the partners, the various partners that we work with, and the stakeholders in health in the region meet to share their experiences on health relating to the theme and sub-themes for that particular year. So they will come and share experiences, best practices in program implementation, but also research evidence. And it is through this process where we share the experiences, the best practices, and the research evidence that the various research institutions in the, in the region are generating, that we are able to identify issues and problems that need to be addressed collectively by the member states at the regional level. So we start from the best practices forum, using evidence, using experiences of the countries as they implement their programs, and these assist us in identifying issues 
uh, to, to, to inform uh, policies that the ministers eventually uh, uh, make. The best practices forum, the key output from the best practices forum are recommendations which are further deliberated by the Director's Joint Consultative Committee, which is our highest technical body, and it has evidence generators there. It has policy makers from the Ministry of Health and also people from, uh, from the training institutions and any others that we may co-opt from time to time. So these deliberate them and then they further refer them to the Health Minister's Conference who deliberate and once they adopt uh, these recommendations, they now become resolutions and that's now the policy for the, for the region. And these spell out the action that need to be taken collectively by the member states with support of the secretariat and partners at regional level. So basically that's how the policy process at the regional level works. Now in terms of uh, the entry points, how do we get into the policy process? I know there are a number of people who have been asking how do we get involved in that policy process at the re at regional level. We have these regional forums, the, the regional forums that I talked about, the best practices forum. This is also held annually. And once the theme and sub-themes are determined, we invite abstracts of best practices, of uh, research evidence that would be of uh, regional interest to be shared through that forum. And these inform the deliberations of the regional forum and ultimately, uh, the, the resolutions that the ministers make. As a regional organization, we also have a direct linkage with program experts in the Ministry of Health. Our entry point as a regional organization into the member states is the Ministry of Health. So all the programs that we are running at regional level, we, are, we work very closely with relevant experts in the ministries of health. So these help us to identify where the priority areas, the areas that need to be, to be addressed or issues that need, be, that need to be brought to the regional level for deliberation or for policy. We do this through the, the, the engagement that we have with the regional uh, the, the experts, the program experts that are in ministers of health. We also have, as part of our structures, expert committees or communities of practice relating to the, to the areas that we are working in. We will have expert uh, communities of practice, for example, on health economics. We will have expert committees on human resources and the other areas that we are working in that are of interest. And this brings together the experts and practitioners from the Ministry of Health and in some cases will also even bring experts from the academic institutions in, in that particular field where they share experiences and expertise but also assist us in identifying issues which require addressing at the regional level. So Chair, in the interest of time, let me stop there. This is in a nutshell how policy processes work at the regional level from the EXA perspective. Thank you very much.